Hi guys, it's Taylor here, and this is a third um, crime tutorial, and in this one we're going to be going over basic AI, so we're going to make add AI to the far scene, um, and then we're going to set up a small path, waypoints, that it will follow. So, you want to launch up Sandbox, and then log in. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Um, you should have a forest level already installed. Um, it came automatically with the engine. So, um, first of all, we want to go up to File, Open. They want to go up to Forest and Forest.cry and open that. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. I'm recording this on my laptop so it may be a bit iffy and again I just hate mouse pads, touch pads so I just find them absolutely awful but I'll see how it goes ok so that's loaded up um, this is probably the perfect place to start so if we go down here this little path I'm going to go ahead and go to Walnut Bar Objects Entity AI Drop that down Then Drag Grunt Into the Editor View And that's fine to place it there um, Wait that purple bit is just Sorting itself out um, So we can probably face him around Yes that's so you just go up there to rotate or rotate around on the Z axis and we can press Ctrl G to go into the game and we should find mm, some more set up ok that doesn't seem to be working for me no nope. but anyway you can press Ctrl G go into the game and you should find he will start shooting at you so you should find as well that you should be able to shoot him so um, that's already set up, um, the AI, AI all works, but the next thing we want to do is actually, um, set up the AI, don't we, the waypoint, so, if you select musical grunt 1, and you can rename this to whatever you like, I'm just going to leave it as that, um, we can now head over, scroll down to the bottom, and where it says flow graph, we can do create, and then we could do new and we can do call it patrol press ok and we've got this unfortunately my window is pretty small because I'm doing an a, M11x but I'll just wire this up so it's actually very simple the cry engine to set up AI and stuff so as you can see we've got a flow graph and the first thing we want to do is um, right click and go to add start node um, next thing you want to do is go add node then you want to go to AI follow path um, ok that's fine because you selected so make sure you've selected your character and then where it says choose entity which do assign selected entity. So um, we can now drag this. Just left click and drag to sync. You see that's made a connection. Um, we then want to select AI for a path so it should light up. Then where it says path name, that's where we'll put it in the actual path name. But we can now. Unfortunately, can't minimize it, but I'm going to put it down just to the bottom of the screen. Um, we can now, I prefer to zoom out, and then we can go to um, just deselect him. Then we can go to AI, AI path, and if we just drop it just like in front of him, and then you could, should see we can just go like that. Ok that's gone wrong um, 
So if we go to AI, AI path, place that there. You should see we can just go ahead and drag it to different points. So you can make a little path along here. So you should see little points there. Um, we can now go back to our flow graph. So get this back up, and you can see this is called AI Path One. You can rename it so it says there, but I'm just going to keep it as this to keep it simple. So here it says path name. We you have to put this path name exactly the same caps and everything. So you can now put that in, and we can go to File Save and we can save it as troll drag smell close it down and unfortunately this doesn't seem to be working for me playing the game but you should find that when you press control G go into the game um, I'm not sure why this isn't working for me I can't do it but if it's all gone to plan you should find that this guy here follows this faint path which you made along that it's a bit annoying contrary because I don't know it's just nine I think it's a screen recorder but um, you should find when you go into the game as long as you're not too close to them you should find if you will follow the path. I think the problem I had is that if you're in his radius, he'll go off the path and obviously start following you. So you may want to get to a distance, like say get back here, press Control G, and then you should soon follow the path. Um, the annoying thing is, I mean, um, if I select him, if you scroll down a bit, you can actually go down here and change all the attack range. But it doesn't seem to do anything. Um, she's a bit dodgy. But anyway, um, I hope this has helped you. Um, setting up a little waypoint path. Um, my next video, I'll hopefully get the screen recorder sorted out and I can show this in action. And I'll probably go into vehicles and that's good stuff. So I hope this helps you and remember to watch the next parts come up soon.